I want to start out with a couple basics. You can never control outcomes. Anyone that can tell you, we'll guarantee you these types of results, it don't work because life is, is too, there are too many variables involved in it. But there are things you can do to have a better chance of having favorable outcomes. And that's what we're going to talk about. How do we do that? So we're going to identify the basis of effective marketing copy, stuff you predict, like ads, uh, handouts. And then number three, we're going to practice developing a marketing model. So you're going to get some hands-on experience actually doing this. So many a small thing has been made large by the right kind of advertising. We're going to talk about marketing copy and what are the key components of effective copy? Now, we keep throwing this word around effective. What in the world does effective mean? What is that? When they do what you want them to do, it's action. It's effective if it causes action. If a person says, wow, that's me, and then they move on, or they tell someone else, but they never do it, it's when it causes whatever that action you want. Effective marketing copy causes that reaction, gets them to do something. How do we know if something's effective? What are the key components to effective copy? Now, there's a caveat here. There's no one thing that works. Why? What, what are we dealing with here? We're targeting, what, what is it? People. People. And everyone likes different things. They just do. All right. Does anyone know what A-B testing is? A-B testing is where you take two different things, an A and a B, and you test for effectiveness. So let's say you have a website. They check the button colors. They A-B test button colors to see which button colors cause you to move. Everything is A-B tested. If you've worked in retail, they put mannequins in certain spots. They put the, the certain places they found that with marketing that if you put carpet versus tile. With carpeting, what do you think the difference between people, people's reaction to carpet and tile? Action-wise. What does it actually cause you to do? Walk on there. Okay. Well, you walk on both of them. Okay. Okay, good. That's okay. That's okay. They slow down on carpet. People just associate, if I'm on carpet, I slow down. So, you, so if you go to like Target or Target, all right, if you're into that. If you look at the aisles, if you're walking from between the different sections, it's all tile. It means keep moving. And if it's carpet, they want you to slow down, take a look. So notice that where you going. People travel right hand patterns, okay. 75% of people. So they, they um, the merchandise towards the right towards the slow it's another one too. All the necessities way in the back, so you have to go buy everything else. Yeah, milk is always the first thing away in the store. There you go. There you go. All the staples. Now, each one of us has seen good copy and not so good copy. You know, stuff we generally like and we don't like it. Right? And so we're going to talk about, we're going to look at evaluating it. And so we're going to go over what are the nine things you need to look at for, for marketing copy. Now, a marketing person is going to give you something. You're going to take a look at it, and you want to evaluate it. Okay, this is going to go out, so I'm doing a mailer, or I'm doing a sales sheet. Does anyone know what a sales sheet is? Mm -hmm. okay. Does anyone not know what a sales sheet is? Okay, good. A sales sheet is a piece of copy used to sell something or give information about something. So it's usually like if you have a, a, a washer and dryer, you want to focus on that dryer. It's going to have all the information on there. It's a sales sheet. Number one. You need to have a clearly identified purpose for it. What, what, are we, what are we creating this for? All right, that's key. Number two, is there, number two, clearly identified heading. Now, I'm going to say this with a caveat. How many people have seen a picture of, it's just a plain picture, and all you see is an apple on it? What does that mean? What does that correlate to? Apple, yeah, apple, computers. apple computers. The beat. Okay, you're, the see what I mean? See what I mean? It's always one that says something. That's why my daughter would have said that That's right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Apple computers. Right? And I, they only have to put an Apple on it. I mean, you look back there at that computer right back there, you see the big Apple. We know it's okay. It's Mac. All right? But for the most part, if you have some type of collateral, it should have a heading on it. Something that just sort of says what it is. You should have some type of graphics or images on it. 
All right? And you should be able to clearly identify from those graphics and images what you're trying to communicate. All right? Key features and benefits. How does that, we talked about, wow, that's me. And when a person looks at this, whoever you're, who should be saying, wow, that's me? Hold on, who is that? Target Your target market. Your target market saying, wow, oh, okay, I fit that. Key benefits, it should be a feature or benefit to them as to why they want to do it. CTA, call to action, what is, what is that? What do I do? What do I do? What do you want me to do? Should I call you? Should I email you? Should I visit your website? Should I ignore you? Create some type of urgency? All right, a call to action. All right. Contact information. Has anyone ever sent something out and didn't really have contact information on it? <laughs> so it was, who did that? It was, I created it. I made a mistake. I forgot. I don't have anyone else to look at it, so I am just like, <laughs> has everything on there. It looks good to me. <laughs> How those metrics look? <laughs> I thought they were awesome until no one called. <laughs> so like, all right, some kind of contact information. Some type of an emotional appeal. Why do we want an emotional appeal? What do the studies say? People buy based on what? Emotion. Emotion. They justify with what? Logic. Logic. All right? So we need to have some kind of emotional appeal. So if you're not, like, if you could be looking at a piece of material, it's just like, man, this doesn't do anything to me. Anyone has said that before? This doesn't, doesn't move me. All right? That's what they're talking about. Here's some other things. A maximum of two typefaces. All right. Well, does everyone know what a typeface is? It's like Arial, the fonts. All right. Good. And then a limited use of color and bold. Now, of course, you're gonna somebody's gonna say, I know this one thing. It was real great. And it was pink, and it just. <laughs> of course, there are niches that you're going for, but for the most part, if every single ad you see or everything thing doesn't just pop out and have a bunch of bold colors on it. That may have one or two subtle. Or like if you look at that board over there, Swix board, okay? What's the primary color over there, the standout color? The blue. What's the complement? What's the other color? The orange. The orange, like, all right. It really jumps out. All right, so use of that, the fonts, everything. So now, those are the nine things generally you want to look to, look at if you're going to evaluate a piece of copy, a piece of of collateral, something you're looking at that's going to do something. And if it contains these things, for the most part, you'll be able to say, okay, that, that should be, has a good chance of being effective. The aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well, the product or service fits him and sells itself. Peter Drucker. So you want to get your thing, whatever it is, so tightly woven, it sells itself. Because a person now understands what I should do and they're drawn to do that. And that's difficult to do. And it's a process to do that. But if you can achieve it, that's the point of your marketing, whatever it is. Guys, and as we're looking at this process of the, doing our marketing, and what is the point of marketing? What's, what's the goal of marketing as a whole? All right, yes, to generate leads. Generate leads. If you're, whatever you're doing is not generating leads, it's not effective marketing. Your marketing puts them in there. And they're a lead, they're a potential, they're a prospect, whatever you call it, we call them leads. My marketing needs to produce qualified leads. What is a qualified lead? For some reason, we're trying to they're in your target market. They fit whatever your target market is. That's it. Yeah, just fit in your target market. Because you can have a bunch of leads coming in, but they don't qualify for whatever it is that you do. What's the point? And that's what you were speaking to. I'd say a lead is something you look at. The prospect is something you pursue. An opportunity is you've had a conversation and you might be moving forward and it becomes an account when they buy something. Okay. Yeah. So that's your process. Yes. We call them generation... All right, qualification, negotiation, determination. Those are the four stages I go through. Because they all rhyme in Asian. So I, can, so I can remember. So there you go. There you go. Recap here. Remember, 
Look at your experience and your resources. Look at your history. Look at whatever your copy is or your marketing. Look at just have your smart goals. Develop this model that you're developing. And by measuring it and developing this, you can create and get better over time. It doesn't matter if you're consistent with it. There are principles you follow, but how you call them or how you do it, it's going to change. And it's, he's right. I mean, he's right. The, the process, the, the key is just have it and review it and edit it and revise it and make it better and have goals for your processes. How many people have process goals? Like working on their process and their process gets better. All right, good. Good. That's a, a key component. An effective marketing model includes defined goals, a target market, a structured process, and a splash of creativity. So we just want to remember that and just sort of close with that.